Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today's video is all about men's swimwear. We discuss how you can find a model that suits your body type and your style. We talk about do's and don'ts and everything else you wanna know about swimmer so you look your best no matter if you're at the beach, the pool, or the lake. <laughs> really hot outside. Very few things feel as good as diving into cold water. However, it can be a challenge to find swimmer that suits your body, the local culture, as well as your own comfort level. Now in the US, trunks seem to be the number one kind of swimmer men wear, but if you go to Europe or South America, shorter, more tight-fitting swimmer, also known as speedos or briefs, are much more popular. So before we explore your swimmer options today, let's take a brief look at the history to better understand how swimmer evolved and how it got to the point where it is today. Prior to the 1870s, swimmer was really simple for men. It was simply nothing. Yes, you heard right. You just went and swam naked. The first modern record we have of swimmer is in form of a painting from Frédéric Basile. Even though it's more than 150 years old, it looks remarkably similar to what we wear today. Of course, fashion was even important back then, and so the swimmer styles changed throughout the decades. In the 19-teens, men wore actual tank suits, often in solid dark colors, and sometimes they even featured a skirt. Yes, you heard right. Eventually, the shirt portion of your swimsuit fell away as having a tan became more desirable because it represented that you could pursue leisurely activities as a gentleman. Interestingly, prior to the 1930s, a tan was often associated with lower class workers who had to work outside, whereas the gentry would remain pale and white. Sometimes people would even resort to taking arsenic pills to remain pale. In the 1940s, fabric shortages across the board led to swimmer becoming even shorter and tighter in order to save cloth. However, variety crept back into men's swimmer in the 1950s when the middle-class American men demanded more options. This was the time of the miracle fibers such as lycra or nylon that were all new and became the rage in swimwear. The 1960s saw the introduction of speedos in Australia and the 70s went even further with bolder colors and different cloths such as terry cloth or baby corduroy. Can you believe that? If you look at the ads from the 90s, you can see board shorts were the big trend. No matter it was Calvin Klein or a Hilfiger, they were all long, oversized and oftentimes styled with surfers. Now enough history. What are the swimmer options you have today as a man who's interested in classic style? Well, first of all, you can wear a Borat swimsuit. No, just kidding. That's terrible and you should never wear it. Instead, one of your options are briefs. You may know them from the underwear drawer and for a swimmer, they're the tightest fitting option out there for men. Usually they just have a one or two inch inseam or sometimes none at all. Just think of Daniel Craig in Casino Royale. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Now, if you take the brief and you cut it even more open so more of the thigh becomes visible, we have the classic Speedo or European swimsuit shape. My dad's from Brazil and he lives in Germany and he loves to wear this kind of swimwear. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of it. A much better and at the same time classic option are swim trunks. They usually reach the mid thigh, or have about a five to six inch inseam, have some room in the thigh, are not too tight but not too wide, and often are closed with either a button, have some elastics or a Velcro. Sometimes you can also tie them tight, but overall, those are the styles you will encounter. The third options are board shorts. They're typically longer, cut fuller, sometimes have cargo pockets, and are typically more youthful. So what style of swimsuit, what pattern, and what colors are right for you? Well, let's start with two factors, your height and your build. Why are those two so important? Well, they help balance your natural proportions. So if you're a tall man, you should probably opt for board shorts or trunks that are rather long and just hit the top of your knee or maybe even mid-knee. Typically that means you have an inseam of eight to 10 inches, maybe even longer if you're really tall. While this is too long for most men, if you're tall, it helps you look very proportional and not like you just got a swimsuit from your younger brother. Also, if you're tall, avoid vertical stripes because they visually stretch you and make you look even taller. On the flip side, if you're very skinny, a pair of horizontally striped shorts can help you look more muscular. As a tall man, you always wanna skip any type of speedo or brief because they make you look boyish. Now, if you're a man of a regular height, lucky you. You can basically choose any type of swimmer that suits your style. 
for a classic look, go with trunks that maybe have a five to six inch inseam. You can also go with board shorts that are longer or with briefs or speedos that are really short. On the other hand, shorter men should always avoid shorts that are too long. Why? Because they will just emphasize your lack of height and make you look goofy. Always stick with an inseam that is shorter than six inches or maybe even five inches because you wanna create that visual illusion of a long leg line. If you're thin in general, avoid the vertical stripes. They make you look even thinner. Go with horizontal stripes and avoid speedos, or very short briefs, because they just accentuate your thinness. Now you're a gentleman with a bigger build. I suggest you go with swim trunks in darker colors or smaller micro patterns, alternatively, vertical stripes because they help you slim you down. When in doubt, size up your swim trunks so nothing cuts into your stomach that makes you look even bigger. Also avoid cargo pockets or putting stuff in your pockets because that will just make you look wider. Basically, just like in many other areas of classic menswear, it pays to stay in the middle and avoid the extremes. So what type of colors are great for classic men's swimwear? Personally, I find that blue, that includes navy or lighter blues, as well as reds and greens are great. While yellow is a summery color, it may show through what's underneath and it will also become dirty more quickly. I've also found that pastel tones of maybe a light turquoise or maybe a light green can work quite well. Of course, the color is just one element. A nice stripe, and I'm not talking about a pinstripe, but more like a candy stripe, is very advantageous. Likewise, you can have maybe a checked pattern, which is very classic in menswear. You could think about a herringbone pattern maybe, or a micro pattern, just like the ones you know from your ties. A more preppy take on swimwear includes the kind of go to hell pants theme, which is usually an embroidery of some kind or a print that could be something nautical related, such as anchors or maybe a crab. Of course, solid swim shorts always work, especially in darker colors. In recent years, bold artistic prints or sometimes over the top color schemes have come out. And personally, I'd rather stay away from them because they really get your attention, which is maybe not what you want and is just too extreme for a classic, elegant swimsuit. With that being said, what are some swimwear do's and don'ts that you should always keep in mind? One, don't take swimwear trends too seriously. They rarely flatter most men and at the end of the day, they're just fashion forward. Instead, rather choose something that works for you, your body type, and your comfort level. Two, don't hide behind overly baggy and full cut swimwear. You may be a little embarrassed that you may not have that six pack, but at the end of the day, wearing those super baggy shorts make you just look more sloppy. I also think it will accentuate your flaws more and not bring out the best in you. Three, do be kind to yourself. I know that we probably all see our own flaws more clearly than other people do, who just pay attention to their faults, not to yours. Yes, I know if you look at the swimmer models, they always look great with their six pack, but reality is most men don't have the time to achieve that. However, that doesn't mean that you still can't find a swimsuit that flatters you more than another. Keep in mind, the whole point of choosing the right swimmer is that no matter what shape you're in, you always choose what most flatters you. Does this model with a six pack in their swimmer look better than I do with my chap? Absolutely, but that's not the point. It's all about who am I today and how I can look my best. Four, don't buy a swimsuit with a huge logo on it or even the brand name. It just shows that you're a bit insecure and that you wanna show off that you can spend money on your swimwear. Rather than investing in big logos, put your money into something that flatters your physique. Five, do stock up on swimwear if you find a model that you really, really like. You can get different colors, maybe different patterns, but swimmer often goes in and out of style and a few years down the line when you need a pair, it may not be available anymore. That being said, keep in mind that you likely wear your swim trunks a whole lot less than you do to your other clothes and because of that, they should last a lot longer. Six, don't buy light colored swimsuits. White, ivory, off-white or tan are just terrible colors because they will show what's underneath, they will get dirty and just look old and worn out very quickly. There are also swimsuits out there with really bright, bold neon colors. I'd stay clear of them because it just makes you look like a billboard rather than a tastefully dressed man. Seven, do check the material tag before you buy. Most swimmer these days is made out of polyester, which is very inexpensive, but it also ages quickly. 
nylon is usually a better option because it lasts longer. Personally, I also like blends of cotton and nylon because cotton by itself is not suited for swimmer because it just soaks up too much water. But in combination with nylon, it has a nice hand, it feels good on your skin, and it dries quickly. Typically, board shorts or swim trunks always have a liner on the inside. I found that no matter what brand you choose, they're always made out of 100% polyester, and there's nothing you can do about that. Eight, do rinse out your swimsuit after every wear, no matter if you're at the pool or the ocean, because the salt and the chlorine will just wear on your fabrics, and if you rinse them, they will last a lot longer. Last but not least, do try on your swimsuit. I have swimsuits in medium, large, extra large, or 34 and 36, and even though it says 34, it may be a 37, or it may be a 32. So do yourself a favor, try things on, and don't compare sizes, especially between brands, because it can be hugely different. So what swimwear do I wear? Personally, I'm a little over six foot tall, or about 184 centimeters. Because of that, I wear swim trunks. Usually, I try to go with an inseam of five to six inches. Some of my favorites include a striped pair from Ralph Lauren in blue, white, green, and red. I also have checked shorts, as well as go-to-hell swim trunks. Also, I have some Thai-inspired micro-pattern swimsuits, and I like to change it up every once in a while in my classic colors and classic patterns. So that being said, where can you buy classically styled men's swimwear? Frankly, most of my swimsuits come from Ralph Lauren because they have a really nice range of classic patterns and colors that just suit my style. On top of that, it seems like a lot of their cuts are inspired by vintage garments, so they have little cool details sometimes that I just like. High-end brands like Orléans Brown or Villebriquin will have swimsuits that set you back quite a bit of money. They're often fashion forward and they can suit your style, but I've found that they're usually cut very slim and with my big thighs, they simply don't work for me. Of course, that being said, if you have slimmer thighs, those brands will have a broader range of patterns and colors, which can be interesting if you want to be more unique. If you're all about function and less about style, check out Patagonia, which really focus on the tech, but to me, they look more dated and I don't like them. If you've followed us for a bit, you know that we like smaller brands as well because oftentimes they're really passionate and they put a lot of thought into their products. Brands I've looked into include Castaway, which have these kind of preppy, go-to-hell style inspired swim trunks. There's also Coast Society or other small Italian brands like Olmaya or Gallo Benvestito. In today's video, I'm wearing a white polo shirt and a pair of Ralph Lauren swim trunks. One of my favorites, it's ironically made of 100% polyester, but it's a thicker fabric, has a very nice hand, and it has stood up quite well over time. It's probably over eight years old. It has a five inch inseam, is cut semi-full, and I think it suits my body quite well. The waistband has a bit of elastic, and you can tie it down to fit your belly. The shoes match the color scheme of the stripes, and my shirt, they're Sperry topsiders in kind of an orangish red. Of course, when I'm at the pool or the beach, I wear flip-flops as well, or I could wear canvas shoes, whatever floats your boat. If you know of any cool, classically inspired swimwear brands, please share them in the comments below.